Hello, this is the third part of the training Unity Real Life Examples. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an uh, object that swings forward and back or to the sides. How we can choose whenever, wh whatever, which direction the object should be swinging, the speed of it. And uh, let's get started. Now, first of all, I'm going to create the object here in Unity. We're not going to import anything. So we're just going to use the primitives. We're going to start with uh, cylinder. That will be our stick. So we're going to make it like five units tall and point point twenty five. Actually, three units I think are enough. Okay, let's zero the transformations, the position, and let's move it one point five. Actually, three units up. Let's make it 0.15, so it's a little bit thinner. And uh, actually, no, let's leave it at 0.25. This way, we'll be able to make a bigger uh, ball here. Uh, we'll use a sphere for the for the object that will be hitting the player. We'll make it bigger, like this big, for example. Uh, for performance, we're going to remove the sphere collider and we will add box collider because we just don't let's make the box collider 0.9 in our directions, in our axis, the size. And uh, that's it. Now we're going to make one empty group. Uh, you can control shift and N or command shift N to make empty game object. Uh, we're going to make we're going to name it swing uh, swing trans for a transform. Why we need this is I'm going to show you. First of all, we're going to move it six units. So we have it at the top of the object. Now we're going to select all these objects and we'll make them children of the swing trans. Now this way we can move the swing transform and uh, actually we're going to name it swing anim. And we're going to name make one more group which will be reset. We're going to name that swing pulse for swing position. We're going to move it to six units above, and we're going to parent the swing anim to the swing position. This way, we'll be able to move and rotate the swing position, and we'll be able to animate the swing anim. We'll select the whole swing position, and we'll move it to the project prefabs. After that, we're going to select the swing anim. We'll go to the animation <coughs> and we will make new clip. Three and tutorial animations. Actually, let me delete the animations from the previous tutorial. <coughs> Project three and tutorial animations. Swing front. half we're going to name it swing front half okay now if we select the swing anim we have animator already uh, remove the apply root motion apply we're going to make few more uh, animations and tutorial animation we will make it empty clip because we need empty clip we're going to name make one more which is Mission swing half swing front we have full. I'll explain a little bit later what why are these for swing front full. 
we will make two more swing front we're going to make that uh, swing side half and one last swing side full okay we have four animations let's assume that we'll be watching like this from this direction uh, <coughs> select the object and first of all we will add uh, physics rigid body uncheck the gravity check the kinematic apply this way because it's because we have a children which holds box collider we're going to name make the box collider a uh, trigger and hit apply this way unity will not spend resources on moving the box collider <coughs> and actually you have to select the cylinder and to remove the capsule collider because we don't need it now we're going to the anim swing anim go to the animation and uh, choose swing front half uh, we're going to add curve which is rotation go to the curves uh, window and in about two seconds we're going to animate this object from let's say 80 degrees up to negative 80 degrees we are using the X so we're going to select both of these now we're going to go to actually to second 2 and we're going to type 80 degrees again so what we have is this animation Now, you can see that the object is swinging, but it's not, it's not believable, I mean, the, the, the mass is, is, is missing, it's like there is no gravity. So, what we're going to do is actually, uh, we have to add on the X value, few more keys. First of all, we'll go to 30 frames and we'll double click. We'll go to second and 30 frames uh, to the uh, middle between the second and the third keyframe and we'll double click to add another keyframe here. Now, to make this object swing, this is the start, this is how, the, how it starts slowly then it move, move, uh, moves back, uh, mo moves faster and then it ends slowly because of the curve it's not linear, it's flat so this is the, this here is like a delay you can see that it, it's, it's likely moving here and here is moving a lot so to make it a little bit more believable we have to select that curve uncheck broken actually make it flat and then rotate it like this so we can actually move it like this yes and uh, one more make that flat as well and make that curve similar so it should start uh, move faster start slowly move faster here then start then <coughs> and slowly again then start slowly move faster and if we play now you can see that we have the we are faking the gravity this way we can make the object to look like it's it's affected by gravity now this is the front half we're going to front full full animation should be making two seconds whole animation 
we're going to add the rotation again we're going to select that curve and delete it we're going to, s to the second two and uh, rotate it with 360 degrees we have this animation now what we need is keyframe here and that keyframe will make it flat so I it should be delayed here and it should be moving very fast here so we're going to select the end curve actually no the end curve and the start curve make them flat so we can get the curves and then make them make the start curve look up and the end curve to look down this way we'll have faster motion down and really slower motion at the at the middle which the middle is the top part so you can see now that uh, we, we've got it too much so we have to change it a little bit like this we're moving this like that and uh, the middle curve we're going to make it just like this so it's not it's not fully flat but it has some degree okay just a little bit more like this and like this and then we can change it like check it again yeah I think that that looks good okay this course is good for people that don't have experience with the animation editor and don't have the idea of how the curves are working but I think it will be helpful for them we made front and side actually I made two more curves but I think we might not use them because we might not need them so let's try just with these two we're going to the animator these two uh, empty clips swing front full swing side and swing side full we don't need them mm. yeah empty clip set it as default we need that the default to be swing half and uh, swing full in the swing half swing full we're going to make both of them blend tree and we'll add two motion fields in each of them project 3 animations swing which is that swing front full and uh, we have swing front full swing front full we're going to add the two clips here use the we're going to make uh, speed parameter 0 0.1 0.25 1.5 2 and uh, we will do the, the the other animation motion field motion field turn of the automate threshold uh, use the speed value swing of uh, swing front half full swing front full yeah 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 swing front half we'll place them on both fields 0 0.25 0 0.1 0 0.25 2 2 let me check if the values are 0 0.1 0 0.25 1.5 2 well <coughs> okay we have empty clip and the two the two clips now we're not going to make any transition because we'll be using 
the play function of the animator to play the animation so we don't need transition we'll leave them as this way now we go to the swing anim we'll select the swing anim and we'll create the script swing object js we'll place the script to swing anim we'll open the script <coughs> and uh, let me just check something that I wanted to see if I make this to the default clip and I should be able to select the position if I play now we see that it's spinning of course the speed is pretty small so we can make it 1.5 or 1.2 so it's it's swinging to this direction now if I select the position and rotate it to 90 degrees it's swinging on other direction so we can use the front or the side depending just on the rotation of the of the position node this is why I created this node as a parent so you can move it you can rotate it and do whatever you want with it this way everything that's below in the anim group will be animated to the direction of this object this rotation <coughs> so we're going to the script and uh, we will make script attach it to swing object to control its motion public variables private variables uh, we will make one public enum which will be called swing direction name it with capital S we will make it half will be equal to one and the uh, full actually will be equal to 0 and full will be equal to 1 now we're going to make one public now y y if you haven't mm, played with enums if you make this enum like this it will not show up here and it looks like we don't have errors cannot be loaded please fix any compile error and assign a valid script the reference script in this behavior is missing this is probably because I left the enum this way swing object js okay uh, I'm going to uh, you need a public variable that we're going to call the name way swing direction and it will be of type swing direction so we are going to represent the, s the enum with this variable and uh, now if we select the enum you see that swing direction we have half and full now private variables yeah th that message because we didn't we haven't assigned the enum we're going to make private var transform private var anim which will hold the animator function awake trans equals transform uh, anim equals trans that get component animator do we get error unexpected vat what is vat var <coughs> uh, let's remove this play yeah we have we're going to make public variable speed uh, 
the speed will be of type float and it will be equals to 1.0 at start in the start function we're going to make anim that set float speed 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 parameter will be controlled by speed variable now we have to make the object to swing depending on the enum that we're choosing so we're going to say if swing direction equals zero that th this is why we have assigned the numbers here so half is going to equal zero full is going to equal one so if swing direction the, rep the representation of the enum is equal zero which means is half we're going to make anim that play <coughs> the half clip let me just return the default clip to be the empty clip we're going to play the default clip the half rotation uh, layer this is the this is the animator layer here we're on the base layer so we're saying zero which is the first layer and then we're going to say random that range 0 0.0 1.0 this will be the random state the random state that the animation will start from so we don't have the same animation all the time uh, we're going to say else if swing direction equals 1 and we're going to copy this and we're going to say swing front full the layer 0 random range from 0 to 1 now if we select the enemy and we say half and then we say the speed of 1.25 and we play you see that rotates it's half value so if you're watching it from here you see that it's it's rotating to the front but if you want to rotate it to the side you can simply just rotate the the position group to 90 degrees so we're going to se select it again and as you can see we have half rotation now if you want to rotate it full we just change the enum we play and we have the full rotation uh, and uh, one more thing we, why again we did the random range from 0 to 1 uh, for the starting of the animation just because if we have few objects and uh, all of them are zero and we play the scene you can see that all of them rotates in in different with different start so they have different motion they don't rotate with the same value so you can see you have randomized animation just with one clip one full and one half so what we can even do is something else we could add one public variable random speed which will be boolean it will be false at start we'll say public var run speed minimum float will be 0 0.5 and public var run speed max which will be float let's say 1.0 let's start so if if we're going to say here if random speed we can say speed equals random that range <coughs> run speed min and uh, run speed max 
So now if we check the random speed checkbox If we check the random speed checkbox I'm going to do the debugging so we can see actually we have the speed and I'm going to play you can see that all of them have random speed 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.25 so we're, we, we can we can actually select the swinging object in the in the prefab and say 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and 1.75 so now you can have random speed random movement and uh, this can randomize the motion just with one animation clip and with like 38 lines of code uh, so guys thanks for watching the tutorial and as always just one more thing